focusing on closing on sustainable development, which is the big idea. And, uh, we also want to discuss how sustainable development is different from sustainability. Is there a difference between sustainable development and sustainability? Is aquarium here that's supplying us with pondweed and I have these mice which feed on this. Why is this a model then if, if you agree that it's a model and what is it going to be a model for given that you know what we're working on which is sustainable development, sustainability. Yes, Yanjay, tell me, how is this going to be a model for sustainability? Any ideas? Oh, well, I think um, uh, the plants are going to thrive in that like open mesocosm. So, and mice are going to like eat the plants, so they would have continuous supply of food. Would they have a continuous supply of food? They could have. And then if they do have a continuous supply of food, it means something. What does it mean if they have a continuous supply of food? In terms of like what we're studying today, what does it mean if we can continuously get them this and we never run out? Then we have established what? What have we established? Sustainability. Sustainability, Sustainability meaning to say that this, which is continuously supplying something of value to the mice. What is this thing of value called in terms of like all these terms that we have to know and understand? It's continuously supplying them with what? Natural, Natural income. This doesn't have to be money that they get. It's, it's what they're taking out of this system. And the stock that's sitting in here all the time is what? What is it to them? This is what's supplying them with their natural income every day. This is their natural capital. In terms of banking, what is this? Your, your, the money that you have deposited, your capital stock in your bank account. And this would then be what? Yes, Sean, your interest. This would be your interest every day. So when these mice live off of this, here, when these mice are living off of this food every day, they are living off their nature's what? The living off of nature's what? Natural income or the interest that is being provided. But if they eat too much every day, what's going to happen eventually to this system here? The natural capital would run out. And that use, what would we call that kind of usage? If they're using the, their natural capital in this way, Vanessa, what would we call it? If they run out, if they run out, would we call it sustainable? Well, what's the opposite of sustainable? Unsustainable. unsustainable, yeah. It would be an unsustainable use. In other words, just like someone spending more money than they're earning every day and they, they have like a, a credit card, eventually the bank is going to say, I, no more money for you, right? So in a natural system, this is what sustainable use of something is. And it, so the idea that sustainability must apply to something involving humans, you realize that that it's, it doesn't have to involve humans. If a predator feeds on its prey, and if the predator overfeeds on its prey, it would run out of food, and then that would affect its population. So sustainability is something that can exist in a natural system, <coughs> even though humans may not be a part of that system. But we try to exploit systems in a sustainable way, like when we fish. What else, what other system might come to your mind that we can exploit in a sustainable way besides fishing. Not oil. Why not oil? Can someone help us? Why we can't say that oil is an example of using something in a sustainable way? Because oil is not a limited resource. It's, it's a finite resource. Eventually, it doesn't matter how slowly you use it, it will run out eventually.